Hello and welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be talking about the overclocked sludge blast. This is for the sludge pump. Sludge blast did get buffed basically at the start of season three, which is awesome because before it wasn't necessarily the best. It was still pretty good. It's just it ran through ammo quick. Now it doesn't have as bad of an issue with that. You can still run through ammo pretty quick with it, but it does give you insane amounts of single target damage or pretty good burst damage. So once you go to fully charge up your sludge pump, rather than firing out the regular sludge ball that then splits into a bunch of sludge balls, this one fires out just a shotgun blast and it goes uh, very, very straight. So it's actually pretty good at firing at very long range. Although it is still a shotgun, so its spread can be unreliable at longer ranges too. So using this at close range against big targets is really good, or using it at long range to pick off things like acid and web spitters is also pretty good. Downsides to this is that you have a longer reload time, which is okay, it doesn't feel that much longer than the standard sludge pump, and you do have less overall ammo, so you can run through ammo quicker for this. The way I have it built is like this, so in tier 1 I'm going with larger mag size, but all of them in tier 1 are pretty good, you can take whatever you'd like. Tier 2 is very similar, you can pick whatever you'd like, all of them are really good. I'm going with more regular damage. This is better for just the regular shots of the sludge pump, which I'm going to be using to clear off smaller things like grunts. If you wanted more burst damage, you could go with either of the other two options. They're both really good too. Tier 3, I would highly recommend that you take more ammo. More ammo is generally better than the longer sludge duration. That doesn't really help that much with this one. Tier 4, I'm going with the faster charge up. This is just so that I can use a shotgun more often. You could also go with the other option here so that you have more charge shots overall. That can also be pretty useful, just depends on what you want. And then in tier 5, I would recommend the uh, acid in that one, that way we get more damage. The slowdown, again, doesn't really help this one as much. You don't use this like the standard sludge pump, and this is probably the worst sludge pump for crowd control. It's one of the best for single target damage though. For secondaries, we have plenty of options. I'm going with Blistering Necrosis on the Wave Cooker. Main reason why I'm doing this is because we're going on an elimination mission, so this is just build up more damage on them. And this one lets us have even more burst damage, so long as we hit with the Sludge Blast, which is a little bit random with this one, but it is super fun. If you wanted uh, another potential option for the Sludge Blast, you can kind of take whatever you'd like with the Wave Cooker. They're all okay with it. None of them are particularly crazy with it, but none of them are really that bad. You could go with the Contagion Transmitter in Tier 5 on the Wave Cooker at any point. That way you can have Neurotoxin as well as all your other status effects. Or you could, instead of doing that, go with something like Boiler Ray. This makes it so you have really good crowd control towards smaller enemies like Swarmers and towards Jellyfish. Which if you have like Swarmageddon, I would highly recommend this one. This one is really good for that. Other secondary options could include the EPC with Persistent Plasma. This gives you slowdown and gives you good AoE damage. Damage. That's pretty nice since the shotgun might be lacking some AoE damage. If you wanted another option, you could go with energy rerouting. That one's pretty good too because it can be built however you'd like. So if you want to build it for single targets or for crowds, you can do that. You could also go with something like Overcharger, which is pretty good for crowd control as well. If you're doing this, I would recommend taking something like Burning Nightmare on it because even though it's a little bit difficult to light the sludge on fire with the shotgun, since it kind of goes more straight than the regular sludge blast, it still does help quite a bit with this particular overclock for the crowd control. And then if you wanted something with a Sabati, you could go with Oversized Magazine. That one's a pretty good option so that you get tons of ammo for it. If you don't like this and you want another option though, you could go with something like Automatic Fire or either the Clean Overclocks. They're pretty good too. That way you can have potentially more single target damage and still have reliable long range with the Sabata. Kind of surprised I didn't hit the Dreadnought Cuckoo. It's right there. Huh. Anyway, let's get the Dreadnought angry. Dreadnought Hive Guard. Alright, cool. I'm gonna continue on this way and we're gonna see if there's a better place to fight than over here. That place was okay until the meteor struck down, but now I don't think it's that great. Okay, we can go to the other Dreadnought room then. That works. Oh, there's an event here too. Oh, hello, Spitballer. You can also block and spit all our shots with drills. You just gotta do it quick enough, that's all. Oh no, a menace! Drillers arched. No, nemesis, I guess. Sort of. This. Okay. <laughs> this build's actually pretty strong against them because you can actually shoot at them from a distance. Oh. I didn't get the leech then. Hey Bosco, could you get the leech? I'm kind of stuck here, so I'm relatively safe. Oh, <laughs> I think Bosco was focused on other stuff. Oh, nice stuff, Iron Will. <laughs> well, that's good to know. At least I could use that. Right. 
If you are going to be using the acid shotgun for crowd control, try to jump and fire it above targets because it usually drops down a little bit. Yeah. Unless you're just trying to kill something big like a Praetorian or a Repressor. You can just shoot right at it if you'd like. I don't know where the Dreadnought is, so... Let's maybe make our problem a little bit worse. Well, maybe. Ah, we got the twins in here. Alright, cool. At least we can be fighting them when the other one's sort of wobbling towards us, I guess. Uh oh. <laughs> I got kind of stuck there. Maybe I should have done some terraforming and got rid of these. Attacking. Maybe they're here? Yeah, they are. Okay. And then I'm still waiting for the Hive Guard to show up. <laughs> I think these guys are going to die before the Hive Guard actually shows up. Let's see, one thing. Oh, that hurt. I didn't think that would be able to one-shot me. You say one thing that you can do with the sludge pump is wait until you get to one ammo and then use a charge shot. Because it doesn't matter how much ammo you actually have in the gun in terms of damage, so wait until you have one shot and then use your charge shot. And this works with every version of the sludge pump. I'm taking some of the ammo. Grab that. Hmm. Oh, you're the Hive Guard. You might actually be showing up now. Maybe. Yeah, I'm digging. Let's see if we can. Uh... <laughs> Still didn't sidestep that. Alright. I'm gonna heal then too. My little bug. Alright, yeah, I hear the Hive Guard. He's coming, I think. Sand is slowing me down. Somehow I'm not getting hit by anything though. Okay. Stay back. I can't really see you. <laughs> the other one's somewhere over there. Where they were. Oh, there they are. that one to death. And we kind of got to deal with this one. Yeah, I'm just going to keep using blistering the grossest to kind of injure this as much as we can. Yeah, do as much first damage as we can. Hey. Uh, important to note, you, it doesn't really matter where you hit him with a sludge pump. You don't need to be aiming for the weak spots. If you want to, you can. Kind of the same thing goes with the axes, but not as much. It's just that the axes kind of hit everywhere. No. <laughs> I got stuck in a hole. That's not good. I still got Iron Will after this, too. So... It's a little bit better. Alright. Yeah, once he's injured like this, you can kind of just keep blasting him with the sludge bomb. Again, kind of goes with any of the sludge bombs overclocks. You don't need to have this one to do that. 
some more HP then. Maybe I should have left that actually. Just for Iron Will. Because <laughs> I do have Vampire, but there's not going to be anything around for me to actually kill with it. Let's solve this the, the easier way, I guess. <laughs> Wait for him to come over here and then we'll just blow him up. Come on over here, Dreadnought. Come here. There you go. Do this the easy way. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess let's be on our way then. I guess there was still the machine event over here. Maybe I should have done that. I still have an excess of blank matrix cores. Oh, hello, bugs. Right, let's get some more uh, vampire value then. This, this, this room sucks now. With all the uh, holes in it. <laughs> Five minutes. All right. Well, hang on. I need more drill. I also must put, put support a blue bug. Couldn't have done it without him. I hear more bugs down there. Got to get rid of them. <laughs> There's even more bugs down there. Oh, okay. Whoops. I don't know what one of those I just killed. I fell in the hole. <laughs> Yes, down me so I can use my iron will so I can get maximum value. There we go. There we go. Alright, away we go. Take care, Bosco. Alright, only 80 kills. I had four downs. <laughs> That's quite a bit for only 80 kills. <laughs> Mission didn't take very long, though, and we did get a decent amount of pearls.